Hello, I'm ZZ and today I want to show how to update your PS Vita system from the version 1.81 to the version 1.81. So it's simply a reinstallation of the installed firmware. Here's my PS Vita. We're the farmer 1.81, and I want to reinstall this farmer. For this reinstallation, we need the actual farmer files. You can get them from a website that's actually an XML file at the Sony service. The PS Vita is checking this file, and if the file has new firmware, it won't an update. So it's pretty much the 8.18, the European version of the XML file. First, you have to actually download these files. I've already did this. Next is a bit tricky. You need an own server at which you host these files. I have my Zlot server and I already uploaded the files. I have a little folder called PSV update and in there are other directories of the XML file like PSP2, image 2012, 0914 for the 14th of September and the three images pre release and system data um and we need the xm file xml file itself so we're going to save it and we're going to open it and now i have the file at my pc then you have to change the path for me it would be zlot.net slash well the actual path um, I have PSV update so I have to put PSV update into the f um, path of the XML file same here zlot.net PSV update and zlot.net slash PSV update and you have to change the system version to 1.81 and the label as 1.81 um, 1.82 then you can save it and then you have to copy it into the OpenCMA folder it's C program files Sony content manager and then you have to copy it in here I have this file in here with the modified XML file next you have to run the CMA, mine is already running. And then you can go to your PS Vita, launch the CMA app. You also have to connect the Vita via USB. Oops. Okay, connect to a PC and the CMA should ask for an update. It's pretty weird that it doesn't. Um, but there's another way to get this update. You go into the settings, 
press system update, update via PC. And it should, okay, I found the mistake. Copy. Copy. Okay, and again. Opening the CMA, and it should ask ask for an update. Nope. Okay, there we go. Um, version one point eight two. Next, it's actually the one point eight one. You will see it. The PS Vita is now checking the files, and which are pretty much these: one eight one, one eight one, one eight one, one eight one one for saying it's an update, and one eight two for showing it's an update. Next, we have the system software license agreement. And accept update. It's downloading the necessary files via PC and is transferring the files via USB onto the PS Vita. Um, you can skip in the video until it reaches like 99%. the Vita will reboot and will actually install the files. System update, please wait. There we go. It it doesn't give us an error message and it's actually installing the files. So that's pretty much the way how to install a higher version like from 106 to 150 or to reinstall a version. Um I've tried to downgrade my Vita to 1.80 but it's not working so you with this method you can't you can't downgrade your Vita but you can update to a specific firmware like from 106 to 150 or from 16 whatever to 180 so it's pretty useful if you have a PS3 because you can update your Vita to 180 and get the Monster Hunter game via the PS3 and use the TNE custom farmer 6.60 TNB or the half bat loader which is a pretty well a pretty bad choice if you have the um, TNE custom farmer but yeah it said it has updated the Vita software but it's still 181 and if I press system update again it will still say it has a new firmware so you, the only things you need for updating to a specific firmware or to reinstall the original firmware like from 181 to 181 is a modified XML file which you can do yourself 
it's just important that you have the system version has to be higher than the actual which is 181 and four zeros and you have to label it as a higher version like 182 then you need your own server minus that lot and you have to follow the um, directories which were in the original XML file that's pretty much everything you need and yeah you need open CMA the normal CMA isn't working hence it's checking the updates online so that's pretty much everything you need to know for updating your Vita from any version to any other but downgrading is not working if you want to downgrade you will get an error which pretty much looks okay I don't have it on my Vita but you will get an error that's for sure Searching the error picture should be should be this one. You will get this error if you want to downgrade your Vita with this method. So keep in mind you can update to a higher version but not to a lower version. And it's pretty much everything you have to know for installing specific firmware. This was ZZ and I hope you will have fun with your PS Vita.